All right, your divorce has been finalized. What are the three things you need to do next? Okay, first and foremost, change all the beneficiaries on your life insurance policies, your retirement accounts, all of that. It gets overlooked uh, many times and quite honestly, if she's divorced you or you've been part of an ugly divorce, the last thing you wanna do is leave her money that should have gone to the kids or to somebody else. Two, update your will and estate planning. Same thing. Do not, do not ignore this. It needs to be changed. It needs to be updated. It gets overlooked so many times and everything is left to the partner. Do not overlook and forget this. Bonus one, if you are done having kids, you know you don't want to have any more kids. If you haven't already had it, get a vasectomy. This gets overlooked. A lot of guys make a big deal out of this. Hey, Jeff, if you don't have the appointment made by the time I see you again, too, I'm going to hit you as hard as I can in the shoulder. If you watch this video, you'll know who I'm talking to. He'll watch it. Um... The worst thing you can do in your 40s is have an unexpected pregnancy with somebody you don't intend to spend the rest of your life with when you've got 20-year-old kids and you don't want any more. But again, see this all the time. Men put off these things and unexpected things happen. And the final thing you need to do is buy the Costco-sized box of condoms and don't use them right away. So here's the deal. A lot of men, when they get divorced, jump right into another relationship. Big mistake, okay? Take some time off. Analyze where you can be better. Focus on the relationship with yourself. Do things with other men. Go on a solo hiking trip. Go on a grand adventure. Don't rush right into another relationship. Don't use women to seek validation. It's not healthy and it doesn't work. Trust me, I can verify that, okay? And focus on building an amazing life for yourself. And when you create that amazing life and you are living it, you might find you stumble across or have a whole lot of high quality women in your orbit all of a sudden. It's not... Uh, Surprising when this happens. Of the men that I've coached that haven't turned their marriage around, I get notes from them all the time telling me, thank you, met this amazing woman. They meet them on vacation. Sometimes they're short interludes, but because of what they've learned through coaching, they are now uh, attracting a whole new level of women and they are enjoying the hell out of life. I've got one man who right now, uh, like I taught him, is dating three women. And when I first was coaching him on this, he says, I can't do that. Because one, we, we believe it's wrong. Again, we're never going to lie about it or deceive the others about it. But you're going to be your genuine, authentic self, not caring whether they like it or not, because you like you. And he went from dating one to dating two, and now he's like, turns out dating three women isn't that hard. It's not. A lot of times, nobody has time for that constant singular relationship anyhow. And if you're a high quality man, you're gonna be desirable with high quality women. So there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying you try to sleep with everyone. That's not what I'm saying at all. That's actually the wrong approach. But the mistake men make when they divorce, especially nice guys, and this is why I, I tell you not to date right away, is we latch on to the first person we end up dating after the marriage ends. Oh my God, she's so wonderful. I hate that phrase. Because they make it sound like that she's perfect and they put her on this pedestal and it just, it, it, it's really sad when that happens. So love yourself, work on the relationship with yourself, create an amazing life, and then you'll have your pick of the women, all right?
if you're facing a divorce, if you're struggling in single life, reach out below. My contact information is there. Let's have a conversation. Let's see what might be the best thing for you. Maybe it's joining Mentoring Men. We've got all sorts of courses, free online ones, group coaching. Uh, you might be surprised because one of the secret ingredients to a fulfilling life is brotherhood. And we offer that at Mentoring Men. Uh, and it has been transformative for our members. So put yourself first, brother, and we'll see you next time.